Alrighty then, I'm here today to show you what we've been working on for the last few days. Um, the goal is to make a network connected central heating system so we can turn on and off our heating um, over our network. And uh, yeah, Bifter Team Alpha is me and, uh, me and Will, so let's go. Um, over here we've got an Arduino, it's a Dua Milanovi model and I've got an Ethernet shield on the top there. Um, that's powered by uh, a wee battery. And it's connected up to this little circuit here, which fortunately you can't see very well, but I've set up a magnifying glass so you can kind of have a, a wee look through here. Um, it's basically a relay and a couple of LEDs, um, a transistor and a flyback diode. And um, that just basically switches the high voltage side of a circuit, which will eventually be connected to our boiler. So, um, so yeah. And then over here, just for a proof of concept, instead of a boiler, we've actually hooked up this um, wee light that I've got a hold of. So what we'll do is just do a quick demo. So I'm going to switch on. So we've got a red light on the, on the relay side over here, just letting us know that the circuit's alive. And, um, and it'll switch to green whenever the, um, the high voltage side is, uh, is powered up. So I've got my Arduino is, um, is connected to the network. You can see because of these lights are switched on here. Um, and this is my network cable here, obviously. So let's have a go. Now you can um, you can connect to the Arduino with anything that can um, connect to a network, essentially. But the goal is to have it um, running on our phone. So um, I'm just going to load up a, a Telnet client that I downloaded. It was free. It's called um, it's just called Telnet. So open that up, and. I've uh, pre-programmed the microcontroller with a with an IP address. Um, it doesn't do DHCP, which would be nice, but um, yeah, we've just hard coded it in, and there it is. Okay, so you can see the response there. You can't see the screen very well, unfortunately, but um, basically it says that it's ready and waiting. So we're going to issue a command which will pull the, the one of the pins on the Arduino high, which is connected to the low voltage side of the relay. So that um, should switch the relay and turn our light on, or in, in future it will be our boiler. So I'm just typing in the command now. Um, will, his job in this project is to write a little, uh, little um, Android application, which will do this, so you don't actually have to type in the command, which would be nice. Um, so yeah, so when I press send, what's going to happen is my phone is going to send a command via my Wi-Fi to my Wi-Fi router, which sends it down the network cable to my Arduino, which then talks to the relay, which then talks to my light over there, which could be um, our boiler. So yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to send the command, and you'll see uh, the send and receive lights on the Arduino flashing to say that we've got a packet. Um, the light on here will change to green and uh, our lamp in the background over there will also switch on, so here we go. I typed in the wrong command, so I'm going to type that back in again. Okay, so here we go. Yay, there we go, the light's on. And you can see the green light on the Arduino over on the relay over here. And the light switched on. Cool, groovy. So I can then switch it off again. So I'm just gonna send the off command. And let's look here. So this thing was pretty cheap. I mean, the Arduino cost about 20 quid. The Ethernet shield was about 20 quid as well. The components for this thing here, they were pretty cheap, less than a pound, just off the shelf components. And uh, the light I managed to acquire from um, the roadside. And I've just put a wee kind of like lamp inside. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna switch it off again by sending our command. Hopefully you'll be able to see it all happening. There we go, boom. So the light's red and the lamp's off again. And I'm pretty happy. So there'll be an update coming when Will's done his side and we've got this connected to the boiler. Cool. See you guys later.